हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल फाइव फाइव फ्रॉम द पास्ट एट लेक्चर्स वी वर स्टडिंग अबाउट यू नो दी एलएस कपलिंग इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ एलएस एंड जेजे कपलिंग इन टू दिन लेक्चर दैट इज द इन द लेक्चर नंबर नाइन वी विल शिफ्ट टू द जेजे कपलिंग ओके द एलएस कपलिंग ओकर्स मोस्टली in uh, maximum uh, of the uh, atoms and uh, especially the lighter ones but uh, the uh, the jj coupling it occurs the jj coupling <coughs> occurs mainly in the heavier atoms in the heavier atoms okay uh, there is a gradual shift uh, from the ls coupling to uh, jj coupling uh, as as we uh, move from the lower atomic number to you know heavy uh, higher atomic number okay so <coughs> what happened uh, when we are uh, uh, look when we were looking at the ls coupling uh, what was hap happening it was that first of all uh, the the various l's okay they interact with each other this was the step 1 uh and the various spins uh, uh they uh, there was an interaction of spins and the uh, third was you know the spin orbit coupling okay the coupling of you know the various Ls and then uh, the actually the uh, the resultant Ls and the resultant spins and the spin orbit coupling. Okay, so uh, the JJ coupling, if we see, it is actually uh, an opposite extreme to the ideal LS coupling. And uh, uh, in this particular case, the in this the spin orbit coupling dominates coupling dominates it means that there is no interaction of various l's or various s but uh, you know uh, we, we 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 will see that uh, there is no interaction between the various l's and various s but actually there is a interaction there is an interaction between the spin and the you know the uh, angular uh, quantum number the angular uh, uh, momentum and uh, due to which we have this uh, you know jj coupling okay so let us see what are the steps in step 1 there is a there is an spin orbit interaction there is an spin orbit interaction what happens in this okay in this <coughs> as because i have already told you that the spin orbit coupling dominates so due to the domination of uh, or we can say the strong strong uh, the stronger spin orbit interaction the orbital and spin mag uh, spin angular momentum vectors of individual electrons are strongly coupled to form the resultant angular momentum vector okay so i'll write it due to the stronger spin orbit coupling the the orbital and the spin <coughs> angular momentum interacts <coughs> that is uh, interacts with each other that is <coughs> that is for individual individual electrons okay so the, the uh, 
so this coupling is uh, you know more than the uh, coupling between various cells and various cells so, so uh, due to this interaction okay so we have so we have a resultant resultant angular momentum vector j okay so for different electrons for different you know the electrons we have different j values okay so if 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 i take an individual electron for that particular electron suppose we have a uh, l value and we have or s value so they will interact individually okay let's say we have the uh, ith electron and that for the the ith electron we will have this thing okay so the the magnitude of this will be given by the magnitude of this will be given by j that is into j plus 1 and then h bar it means uh, that uh, the j that is equal to l minus 1 by 2 and then l plus 1 by 2 we we know that the spin uh, only have uh, two value that is 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 okay this is the step one due to which we have very say for j1 then j2 sorry j2 and uh, then excuse me then j2 and then j3 j4 that is j i that is for different electrons we have to combine the combine the orbital angular momentum and the spin angular momentum okay this is the step number 1 okay let's see this step number 2 this was the step 1 this step 2 okay in the step 2 <coughs> now we have various j values and these j values now they can uh, you know interact with each other to form a bigger j value that is the resultant j value that is called capital j okay so as a resultant uh, of uh, you know resultant interaction the we have uh, uh, individual uh, so Uh, i should uh, write it uh, down okay d various j's of the individual electrons of the individual electrons <coughs> are coupled to uh, each other to form the total angular momentum to form the total angular momentum okay and that angular momentum will be capital j and the magnitude of this capital j vector will be j into j plus 1 under root and then h bar okay and the values of j's that should be from j plus j1 plus j2 and so on to <coughs> to j1 minus j2 and so on okay so the values will go from this so these are the two steps in the jj coupling let us see an example and uh, all, all of the things uh, will uh, be clear to you okay let's take a uh, a 4p and a 4d electrons okay this is the example okay now for p electron for p electron 
uh, you should always compare the uh, JJ coupling with the LS coupling and uh, you'll find that uh, uh, there is uh, 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 they, they are just opposite to each other in the LS coupling first L's uh, and S combined and then speed root spin orbit coupling and in this uh, uh, JJ coupling uh, the spin orbit coupling occurs you know uh, prior to you know the uh, coupling between the various J values okay for the P electron we have let's say it is the first electron and then for it the L value is 1 and the S value is 1 by 2 okay now for this the J values will be from L1 plus S1 to L1 minus S1 okay so uh, L1 minus S1 it will become 1 by 2 and L1 plus S1 it will become 3 by 2 okay this is for uh, let's say this is first I'll name it first and uh, then we have this D electron and for D electron we know that L is equal to 2 and the spin is again S2 okay then the possible J values will be 2 minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 3 by 2 and 2 plus 1 is 5 by 2 okay say it 2 now this is uh, okay now <coughs> uh, we have we have actually done the step 1 step 1 uh, uh, has been done okay now this step 2 this was the step 1 okay now in this step 2 these j values will combine okay let us see uh, how many pairs we can create we can just okay so we have first of all we have 1 by 2 and 3 by 2 and then 1 by 2 with this 5 by 2 then 3 by 2 with this 3 by 2 and uh, we have this 3 by 2 and 5 by 2 okay uh, these are the possible uh, j values uh, uh, that, that we can uh, uh, that we can get by combining uh, j's okay now <coughs> the above uh, these uh, uh, various j's values we should combine them to form the capital j values okay let us see the pair one that is 1 by 2 and 3 by 2 so the value of j's that will go well, remember uh, these are for different electrons that why that's why i have combined these uh, these uh, uh, these values okay to find the various values of j and now we have these pairs so the possible j value will be 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 to 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and the value will become uh, the capital J is equal to 1 okay 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 and 3 by 2 plus uh, 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 2 okay uh, let's take the second 1 by 2 5 by 2 so the possible J values will be from 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and uh, it will be 2 and 5 by 2 plus 1 by 2 it will be 3 now next pair 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 this pair we have 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 and that will be equal to 0 and 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 that will be 3 and the values between them by adding 1 0 and then 1 and then 2 and then 3 these are the possible values now the last one that is 3 by 2 and 5 by 2 the values will be 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2 is you know it is equal to 1 and 5 by, 5 by 2 plus 3 by 2 it will equal to 4 and the values between them by adding 1 so we can see that these are the possible j values for this 4p and 4d electrons we can also say that after uh, the jj coupling 
that is uh, we already know for the heavier atoms the two energy levels that is this energy state will be split into how many states 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so we will have the 12 components okay we will have the 12 components okay <coughs> Uh, after JJ coupling that is for the uh, 4p and 4d electrons okay so uh, uh, one thing I want to uh, uh, say you that uh, uh, the pure JJ coupling uh, it uh, you know it occurs uh, relatively very seldom okay so in fact there is a there is a I have already told you that there is a gradual shift from the LS coupling uh, you know for uh, uh, that is for lighter atoms to the JJ coupling that is for the heavier atoms uh, the in between uh, you know if we see in the periodic table the in between uh, atoms uh, that is for the uh, fourth group elements we can say for the carbon the silicon germanium okay they are semi -nutter. Uh, the, the we can see the transition in the levels of these groups okay so but we can say that uh, uh, for uh, small atoms uh, jj coupling holds and for heavier atoms oh sorry the for uh, small atoms lighter atoms uh, ls coupling holds and for uh, heavier atoms jj coupling holds okay and uh, yeah, we can see that JJ coupling is you know relatively it is uh, easier uh, to find the you know component uh, for JJ coupling uh, rather than the LS coupling uh, as you can see that I have uh, I have to uh, make around eight lectures to uh, teach you about uh, the LS coupling but uh, you have seen that uh, this uh, the, uh, this is just a single lecture or we can uh, uh, study in the next lecture and the JJ coupling will be finished okay so uh, in the next lecture uh, friends uh, we'll study about the selection rules in uh, JJ coupling and from uh, then onwards uh, we will uh, do some very important co uh, uh, questions uh, and problems okay related to LS and JJ coupling. So till then, goodbye.